There are more to tablets than just what Google or Apple are currently offering. Two years ago, Amazon debuted their line of tablets meant to undercut others in price and give them access to Amazon's gargantuan content library. But they do have a small hang-up. It is technically Android, but it has most of the, the Google-oriented services ripped out. So Gmail, YouTube, calendars, all that stuff is pretty much gone. For the right users, however, the Kindle Fire HDX, which comes in 7 and 8.9 inch versions, has a lot to offer. These are very impressive devices. They've got a lot under the hood. However, uh, the software does get in the way of, of many things like productivity. Uh, this is, these are basically only for media consumption. There are trade-offs, but the 8.9 inch version consistently outperformed its smaller 7 inch sibling. The 7 has fairly disappointing performance, but the 8.9 is really great. The 8.9 inch has a wonderful screen, has a great color gamut, decent contrast ratio, and very high pixel density. The 7 inch is not quite as good, but it also has other problems like fringing at the end, at the edges of the screen, meaning that the edges of the screen are more blue than they should be. When you're purchasing a tablet to view media, there's absolutely one thing you should consider. You may not think about the size requirements, but if you if you have a 16 gigabyte device, and you know an episode of Sherlock is about six gigabytes, that's a good chunk of your hard drive just gone to uh, video watching. So uh, if you can spring for a big, bigger hard drive if you're going to be streaming a lot um, to avoid a bunch of problems in the future. All of that media is almost guaranteed to look and sound great. The speakers on the back of the device may not look like much, but they actually deliver an impressive sound quality. Amazon has also introduced a feature that makes the new Kindles perfect for first-time tablet owners. Pulling down the notification shade reveals a setting called Mayday, and when you tap it, it will automatically connect you to a video chat with a customer service rep at Amazon to guide you through your problem. They will highlight things for you, show you how to operate your tablet, let you know about certain features that you may be missing. It's a, it's a very useful feature if you are unfamiliar with your device.